In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Sony CVE-10 to PC. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to easily use your CVE-10 in conjunction with your PC or laptop. This allows you to use your CVE-10 as a webcam in any compatible application such as OBS, Google Meet, Zoom, and so on. And this connection can be established easily. For this method, we are going to be doing it through a USB cable, so you don't need to download any sort of software, but you will need a USB cable to establish this connection. First, set up the camera settings. So, on the settings of your Sony ZV-E10, go to the network category and then look for PC remote function. In here, you will be able to enable it. While this isn't strictly necessary, sometimes if your camera is not being recognized as a live streaming device, this can fix the issue, so I recommend enabling this first, just to be sure. With this done, we can now start the actual connection. This will be done by going over to the movie settings, so the second category here, and then looking for USB streaming. Every single time that you want to connect your camera to your PC or laptop, you must go here and look for USB streaming. You can assign this to one of the quick action or quick menu buttons, but the point is that every time that you choose this, you will be prompted to use a USB cable to establish a connection. So now grab your USB cable and connect one end into the ZVE10 and the other end into your PC or laptop. It doesn't matter which cable you use as long as you establish your connection. So it can be USB-A, USB-C, micro USB, whatever you prefer. Simply establish a connection between the Sony ZVE10 and your PC or laptop. And with this done, when you open any application that supports camera inputs, you will find the ZVE10 under the list. Like I said, you don't need to download any sort of software as long as you establish a connection and you chose the PC remote function plus USB streaming, it will be recognized as soon as you plug it in with the USB cable. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect Sony ZV-E10 to PC. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.